rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and today I'm going to talk about the concept of using scales over chords. Now this is going to be a 30,000 foot view of this idea. We're not getting going to get into a lot of theory. We're going to we're going to get into some basic theory. So even beginners can watch this video and you're going to get the gist of scales and chords and how they work together, okay? I'm going to use some analogies and I'm going to use some specific examples and give you some great resources, some different places that you can look elsewhere on the net to get some more answers, okay? If you want to further go down this path, okay? So uh, recent, the reason that I'm, that I'm doing this video is I had one of my recent um, uh, Facebook, or I, I've had a uh, Facebook uh, um, subscriber uh, who asked me, could you teach about this idea of using scales over chords? And I thought, gosh, uh, it's something that we that uh, musicians honestly take for granted a lot of times because once you understand the concept, you just do it. So uh, I want to talk to talk about it and, um, and and give you some examples. Okay, so let's think about this first off from a very general standpoint. Uh, you hear somebody say, "Hey, we're in the key of C." Okay, and then you see all the musicians look at each other, okay, cool. And then they go and they play the particular song. Maybe it's blues, maybe it's a blues riff or something like that. And magically everybody sounds good together. If you've ever heard two musicians playing in two different keys, you'll know it does not sound very pretty, okay? So I'm gonna use a couple analogies here to give you a kind of an idea as to what's going on. So uh, when we're speaking, just like I am in this video, I have a certain goal in mind, okay? In this case here, it's to tell you how to use scales over chords, okay? So that's, we could call that the subject matter of this lesson. Well, just like every conversation, every speech, every song um, has a a goal or a subject or a title, and it has a central idea. Because if not, it's just a bunch of random thoughts put together. I mean, heck, even Seinfeld, uh, those, those, the shows where they had these, these crazy dialogues going back and forth, there was a specific thing that they were talking about all the time, okay? So um, similarly, for the music, we have a key, okay? And the key is one central note that all the other notes and all the other chords revolve around, if you will. They point back to, they kind of dance around, and they point back to it, and that sort of thing. And also, that being said, once you establish what the keynote is, it determines what the other notes are going to be that are within the scale and within the chords and that sort of thing. Now, there's we can go, we can really go down a rabbit trail there, and I could spend days talking to you about that, but we're not going to do that in this one lesson. So, um, so this idea of scales over chords. Uh, another way that you can think about it is if two people are talking about two different subjects. So if I'm talking about cars, okay, with my other friends, we're all talking about cars, and then here comes you know, another buddy, and he starts talking about computers in the middle of us talking about cars. We're gonna be like, dude, we're talking about, we're talking about cars. Like, it's just gonna be socially awkward because he's talking about something different. Essentially, when someone's, when, when, you ha when you're playing in a different key, or you're playing in one key, and then somebody else starts playing in a different key, that's what's going on, is that the notes are clashing, okay? Or similarly, the way we dress. If my, if my shoes are gonna match my pants or something like that, uh, or my shirt's gonna match my, my shoes or something like that, you know, you want that to match. So, with that general idea, um, out of the way here. What we're trying to do when we're taking a scale and match it with a chord is um, we're wanting the notes of the chord to be within the scale, okay? Now, obviously, we probably aren't going to have every scale note within that chord. I don't think I've ever run into that ever in the history of ever. Uh, it's not to say you couldn't do that, but it's just, pretty rare, I'd say, that you'd, that you'd run into that. I haven't run into that personally. In jazz, hardcore jazzers, you may run into something like that. But um, So, with that being said, if I were to, say, take a, a C minor chord, then 
a C minor scale. It's gonna sound best over it, okay? Because it's a C minor and it's a C minor scale. Okay, so you can see where, see this pattern of my chord, of my bar chord, and if you notice the pattern, I'm gonna emphasize all the, the notes within the chord in this scale, so. So again, Okay, so you can hear, and uh, so all those notes within that chord are going to be within the scale, and that's that's what you want. That's why it's going to sound nice. Now, so if you have a minor chord progression, okay, then you would use a minor scale. If you have a major chord progression, then you would use a major scale. Now, those are the big rules, if you will. Okay. Um, now there are other scales that you could play, um, but not but 99% of the time, you're going to be playing some form of the major scale, and it may be when I say that that could be the minor scale because the minor scale is basically the major scale from from the sixth scale degree to the sixth scale degree. Okay, if you're playing pentatonically. So the pentatonic scale, what I call the, the uh, most powerful scale in the world, you can check that video out right here. It's a great place to get started with scales because all this information here uh, really translates easily to the pentatonic scale. So the pentatonic scale is a version of the major scale. It's basically taking a, a, a couple notes out, okay? But for the most part, it's the major scale. Um, so. The scales that you're going to run into all the time are major, minor, and pentatonic. But really, the minor comes from the major. If you take the major scale and you play it from the sixth scale degree to the sixth scale degree, that's a minor scale. That's where we get all our jazz modes from by playing from, you know, the, the second scale degree to the second scale degree is going to be Dorian. If you play from the third to the third, you have another mode, the four to the four, it's another mode. So that's where we get all of our modes from. And the pentatonic scale, again, is a derivative of the major scale or the minor scale. So with all that being said, really the things that you need to think about are, is this chord progression in a major key? Is this chord progression in a minor key? And what's its tonic? Okay, you gotta know what the tonic is, or the key, better yet, you gotta know what the key is, okay? So if it's a song in the key of G, and we have chords like C and D and E minor and A minor, then all those chords point back to the key of G, okay? If you don't know this information, it's information that you have to attain over time by learning, reading books, or checking out courses. I've got a, a course that goes over all this stuff, The Unstoppable Guitar System. The link is below, you can check it out. Um, but these chords tell us that we're in a specific key. And so the scale that I would use over that is the key of G, okay? Now if I had um, similarly a chord progression in the key of A minor, let's say it's A minor C, F, then I could use the A minor scale. Okay, so the big things you want to be looking out for, what's the key that you're in? The letter name, you know, is it A, is it A sharp? Is it B, C, what is it? That's the most important thing, because that's going to be your root note for your scale, and then is the chord progression major or minor? And if you don't know that information, then you need to find that information out, but you're not gonna do that in this video because it would take too long to explain. You gotta check out my course, okay? All right, my friends, that should give you a basic overview, at least, of how to use scales over chords. Hopefully that helped you. If it did, hit thumbs up and subscribe. Please let me know if I can help you on Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff, or you can leave a comment below. Please, spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another. We can change this world and don't trust the man. All right? Practice your guitar. See ya.